Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. All right, Leo, so for the month of September, in regards to your finances and in regards to your career, you have the Three of Cups, celebratory type of energy. I'm feeling very high energy. For some of you guys, this could be taking some time off, uh, being on vacation, um, or perhaps being a bit uh, more on the having more free time to actually take some time to yourself and enjoy um i've been seeing the past couple of months leo's being extremely like uh, very focused on work and with the three of cups this is also encouraging you to take some time for yourself this is important not only for your energy but to regenerate yourself to revitalize yourself um and i feel that taking some time off is really going to uh, impact you and assist you in becoming more focused when you return now you do have here uh, in regards to communication you have the eight of swords so for some of you guys it could be communicating with an air energy aquarius libra gemini uh, for others of you it could be feeling a bit restricted um, like not wanting to reach out to people not being as social as you usually tend to be leo um and i do see you guys very much in your head uh it's almost like some type of anxiousness type of energy now this could be connected to work for some of you guys it could be that you were either laid off or you've been having to take some time off um, but I do see that there is some type of worry connected to your finances. So again, with the 10 of wands, this is like having a lot of burdens, um, being extremely stressed or a lot of responsibilities. This is your challenge for the month of September, the 10 of wands. So what they're telling you here is don't take on more than you can bear. Don't take on more responsibilities than you should. Um, allow other people to assist you or to help you. Don't be ashamed to ask for help, Leo. This is very important. Sometimes, um, especially when we're extremely like uh, self-independent, it's very difficult for us to really reach out to those that we trust or that we care about and let them know that we need some type of help, whether it be just getting advice, whether it be getting some type of uh, advice in regards to your finances or in regards to business or in regards to life in general uh, sometimes you know pride can get in the way and with the ten of wands i feel that the positive of the ten of wands is you're at the end of this difficult situation or these burdens that have became so overpowering um and again with the eight of swords it's like there's a lot of stress but i feel that this has more to do on a mental scale uh, so for some of you guys it could be overthinking over analyzing now, in regards to love and romance, you have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups could represent uh, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is more the energy. And I feel that what they're telling you here is you need to take the approach of being a little bit more loving to yourself, Leo. Uh, this is speaking to me directly about self-love and really trying to uh, help yourself uh, in, in the sense of, we often go through life where people uh, will challenge us or will uh, make us feel belittled in some shape, way or form when it comes to relationships, whether it's, you know, toxic relationships we've had in the past. And what they're telling you here for the month of September, it's going to be very important to take a step back and to give that attention, uh, give that love or give that uh, embrace to yourself uh, versus putting it out into the world, whether it be with your partner, whether it be with, you know, people that you're interested in, 
it's more about going back and taking it back to you and what is it that you're doing for yourself are you taking care of yourself are you taking the time if you're working a lot are you taking the time to uh you know be able to ground yourself after a long you know long week of you know very long hours working um did you find rest did you, were you able to uh or on the weekend were you able to just you know allow yourself the freedom to take a breather and take a step back and pretty much lounge or not do much of what is expected from you uh, as it would during the week so again it's about self-loving it's about giving and nurturing yourself to be able to become a better partner a better lover a better uh, brother a better sister a better mother a better a better father so again it's about working on yourself and spirit's advice here is again with the four of swords this is very connected to the three of cups the three of cups usually celebratory type of energy but this can also be that there is lack of integrating fun into your life or um taking time for yourself so again with the four of swords spirits telling you uh take rest make sure that you're sleeping well make sure that you're taking care of yourself make sure that uh, you're exercising make sure that there's other means that you're using to release the tension or release the uh, frustrations of life now you also have this rune card and this rune card is a very powerful uh rune this is all to do with changing one's point of view but it also talks about self-transformation and growth major life changes so again i feel that with this rune card uh a lot of you guys are experiencing uh major transformations um and again it, this transformation in itself has more to do with yourself leo and becoming a better person for you taking care of your needs um, making sure that you're learning to put yourself first sometimes and, and you know i've seen it as well oftentimes especially if you're a mother or your father uh and you're a leo you tend to overdo for your children but are you taking that time and that energy and that effort as well to treating yourself to doing good for you to uh you know doing things that you would normally do for other people it's time for you to take it a step back and do it for yourself again we go back to that of self-love and this is something that you need to learn for the month of september leo i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye